It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie de la Seine in Brussels and it's a bottle of this Stout Eric described as the Brussels Stout. There we go. It's 4.5% ABV, gold bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. At this stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with fantastic beer from, you guessed it, around the world. Belgium, Germany, France, the USA, some of the great beers from the UK, some of the great new breweries from the UK, all there, all waiting to be bought and drank. So check out Beers of Europe.co.uk. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. I like a stout. I fancy a stout tonight. And I used to have a lot of comments years ago. Not so much anymore. But a lot of people used to say to me that Belgium didn't really brew stouts. They brew loads of stouts, loads of stouts. I know they're kind of famous for their saisons and their lovely kind of doubles and triples and quadruples, but Belgium, they produce some amazing stouts. Look at this one. It's a one finger, slightly off-white, tang colored head, jet black beer in the glass, a little bit of light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass there. Nice levels of carbonation, let's get the aroma. It smells like a perfectly acceptable stout. Nice little kind of bit of chocolate, coffee, caramel, a little bit of ash, tobacco. Let's dive in. Cheers. So a typical stout, traditional stout, lots of flavour, bags full of flavour this beer. A little bit of tobacco smoke, a little bit of licorice, it's quite kind of plummy and vinous. Nice hop finish to the beer. Lots of your chocolate, your coffee, your caramel, lots of roasted malt. A really nice beer. Let's talk about the mouthfeel. So the mouthfeel to the beer is, it's a medium mouthfeel, no doubt about it. And for 4.5% ABV, that's very impressive. There's not bags and bags and bags of malt added to the beer to get it up to say 8, 9, 10%. But yet, with the amount of malt that they've used, it's still got a lovely kind of creamy, rich, lovely kind of mouthfeel to the beer. Carbonation lands on the top of the palate, pushes that beer around, so it gives the beer a bit of life. And you can see by the glass of the beer, you can see the mouthfeel in that beer, just by rocking the beer back and forth, them little bubbles, chasing the beer up the head. It's good stuff, it's really good stuff. Stout, Eric. To be honest, I've heard of it, not got around to trying it. As you can see by the label, you've got little men there. Stout men. Stout is strong. You all know that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get on and rate this one, I think. It's a beer that's been designed... In my eyes, or in my kind of, I love a stout. I really do like a stout. I can go into a pub and drink quite a few stouts. And this beer has been brewed for that. It's been brewed to session. 4.5%, you can enjoy four or five of these. It's got a lovely mouthfeel, bags of flavor, as I mentioned. So you've got your plum, a little bit of licorice, it's vinous, your chocolate, your coffee, your caramel. There's a little bit of tobacco smoke in there. It's a decent, 
sessionable beer. Although I've got this beer tonight on its own, and I will say that it holds its own. I will enjoy drinking the rest of this beer as a one bottle beer. So it's quite a versatile beer. I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's 8 out of 10 for me, little craft beer. Um, it's, it's a very good stout. I'm glad I tried it. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Check out beersreview.co.uk. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.